Hey, what is up you guys and welcome back to the 423. Everyone knows the best thing about this season of Love After Lockup is the relationship between Michael and Sarah and Megan. When the season first started out, I was kind of disappointed and thought that these new couples were boring. And then I was like, wait, those two girls are waiting for the same dude? And then I was all the way in. Anyway, if you watched this week's episode, then you saw Michael and Megan's romantic trip to Niagara Falls while Sarah was at home crying and wondering where her husband was. And this whole episode, I was just wondering where the hell Michael got all this money. I mean, he got a car service for Megan from the airport, he bought a healthy sized engagement ring, and he put her up in a hotel for a few days. But it looks like he might not have been the one to pay for it. Right after this episode aired, Sarah took to Twitter to clarify some things and she's got a very different story about how everything went down. After Sarah tweeted that Michael made her look stupid, people were clowning her because, let's be honest, she makes herself look stupid. And in a thread of replies to this tweet, she says, He didn't plan or pay for ish. I know this because I was with him all day every day up until then and he didn't have any money. Also, he's done a lot for me, always has. We did film some, but I guess they didn't want to show it so y'all could act dumb. She also clarifies that she didn't know anything about Megan, and if she did, she never would have continued her relationship with Michael. After this, Sarah goes on to bash the actual Love After Lockup production team and claims that the texts they showed on this episode weren't actually from her. When someone tweets her a screenshot from the episode of her texts, leading up to the message where Sarah supposedly tells Michael his parole officer is looking for him, Sarah responds, and what makes you think that was actually my text thread? She then goes on to tweet, I can't believe y'all actually believe this ish. That was not my text thread. SMH, y'all make me sick, especially him and the damn producers. And she continues on about her frustration with Michael and the production team, claiming they did all of this to make her look bad. Personally, I don't know why she thinks the texts are what make her look bad. I mean, if anyone's husband just ran away for 24 hours, they'd text them a few hundred times. So what does she think is so wrong about that? Although, I will admit, I definitely can see the producers making up the part about him having to leave to meet his parole officer for a good storyline. Megan, on the other hand, doesn't have such hard feelings about the situation. She posted pictures from the Niagara Falls date with Michael and wrote, I can't lie, this was a great day. I know a lot of people think that when I look back, I should be bitter about my experiences, but I'm not. This was an amazing day. Though Sarah mentions being pregnant with another one of Michael's kids on the show, she's under contract and won't confirm now whether or not that's true, and we don't know if Megan and Michael are still together either. But Michael is back in jail already. He got arrested back in December for narcotic possession, and this is his fourth felony, so he's probably not getting out anytime soon anyway. But of course, I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think the Love After Lockup producers fake texts between Sarah and Michael? And is Megan dumb enough to still be with him while he's back behind bars? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe to The 423 for more videos, and if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.